people come together for meetings all the time. Often one person gives a presentation while others sit around and listen. In particular, when meeting participants have the desire to generate and share new ideas they face different challenges. For instance, only one user controls the shared presentation screen while the others cannot add information. Also interacting with information, such as web links, is not possible. In this video, we present Pointer Phone, an approach that allows all meeting participants to interact equally with a shared screen. Users extend their smartphones as pointing and interaction device. For instance, users can point to a web link on a presentation, select it, and the web page gets loaded on their personal device, without distracting the others. In the following, we show how Pointer Phone supports different tasks in a presentation context. Users can pick up contact information, for example of the speaker, by pointing at the contact symbol and storing the information in the address book. Users can pick up locations by just pointing and selecting them. This allows further inspection on the mobile phone. Additional files and attachments related to the presentation can be downloaded instantly to the personal phone. Unknown words can be looked up or translated. Images can be inspected on the phone with additional information. Users can send these images to other applications for further usage. On a map users can point at a label icon to get the explanation. Multiple users can work on the shared screen simultaneously. For instance, for collecting ideas, they can add and edit texts. Select and place images. And draw on the screen. In the following, we illustrate basic interactions and attributes of the pointer phone concept that can be used in application designs. The position where users point to is available. Users are identified via the phone ID. This allows for example to have private or shared workspaces. The phone provides visual feedback. Haptic feedback. Meep, meep. As well as audio feedback. The user can select different widgets on the screen and manipulate them on the phone. The widgets could vary in their complexity. Also, the integrated sensors can be used for manipulating items on the remote screen. Different gestures can be used to manipulate elements, such as images. Gestures can be used for tasks such as editing, or deleting, 